Hello, I'm Charlotte Quisera, presenting this on behalf of Uganda Vision UK. Mama Sarah Cholawa Amin, the former First Lady of Uganda from 1975 to 1979, who passed on at Middlesex Hospital in North London on the, on the 11th of June 2015. She was very popular, kind, and an outgoing person that got on well with most people in her community. The government of the Republic of Uganda responded quickly when the family of the late Sarah Amin informed the Uganda High Commission of Sarah's death. The Uganda government offered to repatriate the body to Uganda as well as clearing all the outstanding medical bills at the hospital. The Uganda government was represented at the funeral service by the High Commissioner of Uganda, Professor Joyce Chikamfunda. The family of the late Sarah Cholava Amin, the Imams, religious leaders, fellow Ugandans, friends of Uganda, fellow mourners. I join you today on behalf of the government of the Republic of Uganda to convey my personal condolences and that of the staff of the Uganda High Commission here with me and those who remain at the mission in London. On the sad demise of our former first lady, sister, mother, grandmother, and a friend to all, Mrs. Sarah Cholawa Amin, who passed away on 11th June 2015 at the Royal Free Hospital in London. Allow me to also convey to you a message of deepest sympathy from our Head of State, His Excellency President Yoweri Kaguta Museveni, and the, all the people of the Republic of Uganda to the bereaved family and all of us here mourners. You would agree with me that these are very difficult times, especially for the children and for the family and for friends of the late. There are no possible words that can ease the pain and the sorrow of the family which the family is currently going through. Please take heart and seek solace from us as friends, well-wishers, and the wider Ugandan community, both here and at home in Uganda. At this juncture, I thank the Uganda community the friends of Uganda who have supported the family from the day, even before the death, during the sickness, who have been there for the family. I thank you very much. Sarah was such a great lady who protected her husband from day one. No one could hear any word from Sarah betraying the husband. Respect for the word. Strong lady, first lady, we give her credit. No matter what, media can take over, weather can take over, but Sarah kept it to her heart without betraying her father, Zay Ibn Amin Dada. Give her respect whenever she is. Those who talk and talk, but Sarah was that Sarah. Thank you very much. God bless you. To support you, Mingi Mama, poor Nani, Okenda Madam. Those were the words. Mama used to enjoy herself and she used to speak Lingala. Mwasiwana, Azaki Toko, Azama Bay, Mamaya, Ndakuana, Mamaya Mbokawana, to support you, Mingi. Toyeba, Obimi, Uzakomu Timayaka. Merci. Zera, Zera. And a big number of the Ugandans in the diaspora also attended the funeral. Sarah, or oh, our first lady, 
she understood what changes are. As the English saying goes, when changes come, you've got to change. And if you don't change, changes will change you. Sarah accepted change and uh, became a down to earth person. Therefore, that's why you see that everybody is here and everybody has been in great love with this particular lady of ours. On behalf of the family of Sarah Amin Cholaba, would like to thank everyone who happened to be here, those who helped us from day one when mama was sick. And we here furthermore would like to thank the community of Uganda, not only Uganda, Congo, Rwanda, Burundi, and all those who are here for us on such a day of the loss of our beloved mom, friend, grandmother. We would like to thank President Yoweri Museveni for the support he gave us from day one when mom went straight to hospital. We would like to thank Taban Mutebi, Mama in Uganda, as in Hajat, Musei Mayengo, Uncle Isa, Chombe, for the time they've given us working hand in hand until the time we happen to sort of like see of Mom. Thank you very much. This has been represented on behalf of the Uganda Vision UK. Thank you.